Hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough. Let's head on over to Planet Banera officially now at 8-1. Starfy in the sky. Let's go! By sky they actually mean moon and you've got this really floaty high jump due to the low gravity. Hey Mo, how's it going? Wow's the outer space. Bunston sure does travel in style, eh, Starf? We can just float around until the baddies come to us. Make sure to get them all, though. A little extra help couldn't hurt, though. Starly would help. No! No! Well, you might have more fun without Starly yapping at you all the time. <laughs> yeah, that is true, yeah. So let's just not ask about Starly anymore, okay? Okay, oh, poopers. Anyway, this is a space swabby. They bounce around on the space surface, and yeah, they try... They are not a hard enemy. <laughs> I shouldn't, I shouldn't be taking these sorts of hits. There we go. When you kill them all off, the barrier at the side of the screen uh, disappears. Well, if there's a barrier. It's one of those sorts of enemy gate sort of things where you gotta kill everything. And yeah, it's like sort of like a door guard of sorts. And yeah, anyway, let's try and get all the pearls. And at the end, you notice that there's a little dark hole. Well, it's actually sort of kind of like a door. <laughs> Yeah, they're the doors in this outer space area. Try using your air jump to make really huge leaps all around the place. The quicker you master that, the quicker you can save Bunston. Go ahead and practice. Don't worry, I'm practicing enough. Just jump as far as you possibly can because you'll just barely make it over to the other side. Well, maybe not just barely, but it, it comes pretty close. <laughs> Anyway, we got some carrots here. I, hmm, looks like we are definitely in the right place if we're looking for some bunnies. <laughs> By the way, that background is really cool looking. Oh no, glow burtle. I'll stop here. Five arm fellow up. Seriously, seriously. Save. <laughs> All right, space bubbles, woo, and a treasure chest to be had. Oh, I didn't want to jump there. I want to go like that. Oh, maybe I should have. Maybe I should conserve my double jump here. Just there we go. Reset my jump. Oh yeah, yeah. You can't double jump out of water. Oops, I forgot about that somehow. <laughs> well, that explains a lot. I think the thingy that I'm looking for is... Oh, nope, it's not here. <laughs> Just down is death. I should have known. But yeah, the background in this area... I mean, all the backgrounds in this game are really nice, but this one in this world is especially nice. Oh, come on, let me... Guess I gotta hop from side bubble to side bubble. Let's get forward. Uh, well, there's that, but where is the chest? Ah, so much air to look through. Nope. Oh, ooh, bunch of pearls. Maybe this is where it's going to be, because the pearls are leading me. No, I guess not. Also, the music is very catchy. Yeah, where is the chest in all of this air? Well, if there's air. I'm guessing that there's some sort of air. At least Starfy can breathe in the water at the very least. <laughs> anyway, I, th I think Mo Sniffer was getting a little bit more excited when I went towards this corner. <clears throat> maybe not. Oh, he did his. Maybe. Oh, I don't know. It's just kind of hard. No, oh, he was getting more excited at that corner. Okay, so I might be on to something. Hold on. I'm going to do. jump all the way to the corner because I can get more air this way than I could from the bubbles. Okay, there we go. Should just went all the way up from the very start. Mo's diary. We made it all the way to Banera and then the train doesn't work? Get a tune-up. Sheesh. Wait, what train? We didn't see any train. Sheesh. Oh well. I hope Bunsen's <clears throat> castle has a nice hot tub I can soak in when all this is over. I can always go back to the Hotcha Springs at the very least. <laughs> I love the air that you can get in here. <laughs> Even though there's a, there's a lot to explore, it's really fun to do these really large jumps. Oh, more space wobbies. 
Yeah, there's other kinds of swabbies if I didn't mention. I don't remember if I mentioned that or not. But uh, their their names are basically based off of what kind of move they have. Like sky swabbies have uh, um, balloons to have them float. Land swabbies just uh, walk across the ground. Yeah, you'll recognize them when you see them. Anyway, I'm just gonna look around the air here to see if there's any goodies. I guess. Oh. Well, there's no land over there, so you can't just land anywhere. <laughs> I'm guessing they want me to make another big jump here, but I forgot about that. <sighs> Whee! Yeah, just look at that background. It's just beautiful. Beautiful. <laughs> oh, that was a close one. They really get... Oh, I didn't want to go to the cutscene yet. There's more pearls to grab. Oh, whatever. Oh, there we are. That's weird. I thought I saw you just up ahead. What? This place kind of gives me the creeps. Careful, Starf. Maybe it's all in my head. Clams are famous for their imaginations and cautious advice. Another Starfy? That's scary. Are you talking about the Staffodile? Did you confuse me for this thing? By the way, watch that. That's what they do. <laughs> they are a little more dangerous than they look. Uh, okay, so there's no... Oh, shoot, shoot, I'll use my double jump by mistake. There's no treasure chest to be found here, and... Oh, oh, that's... that's the end. <laughs> well, that was kind of a short level, and it's 100% it, too. I don't remember this one being that short, but... Well, that's how it goes, I suppose. And with that, I'm gonna end off the part here. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next... Wait, don't go! Had I known that that last part was so short, if I was paying more attention, what I would have done is another level. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to combine the part you just saw with the part I thought was going to be the next part. Okay? Okay. Problem solved. <laughs> Hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough. Modo's Cosmic Express is 8-2. Let's go meet Modo, shall we? Whoa, more space jumping. I'll be with lava. Yeah, we got some lava volcano activity on this planet. It's not too safe for the bunnies, I gotta say, but they're probably used to it because they've planted carrots in between them, so yeah, I guess they don't really find it all that dangerous. Well, I guess it's not all that dangerous if you time yourself to not, you know, touch the lava. So maybe they just got used to that, you know, like uh, the natives getting used to deadly poisonous spiders in some countries and whatnot. Yeah. <laughs> so it's one of those sorts of things you just got to live with, I guess. And uh, yeah, anyway, I think there's another big jump coming just like the last part. Yeah. Whoa! Maximize your jump height as well as your glide. Hold Y and the jump button right... There we go. Oh, no glow burdle. Oh, no glow burdle. Uh, five Iron Fellows. No, no, no. No. <laughs> anyway, more bubbles. I like bubbles. You know, water floating in space like this does make a lot of sense because that's exactly what water would do. Uh, if it's out in a zero gravity area. I mean, granted, this this isn't a totally zero gravity area because you do fall down, but you know, if it was totally zero gravity, because there is um, actually water floating out in space right now, and it does pretty much exactly this. Uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, nothing really to see here, is was there? Nope. I mean, there was that awesome bubble climbing segment, but what I mean is that there's nothing to uh, really collect along the way. Anyway, what do we have here? Oh, there's Moto. Sorry, we've been waiting for you. What? How'd you get so far ahead of me? This is my friend Moto. He was the original owner of the monster stone I gave you. Ah, that explains a lot. Looks very familiar. <laughs> oh, so this is where the monster power came from. I guess we all your you are you are. Thanks, Moto. My pleasure. The Bunarians gather energy from nature. Forests, oceans, fire and water. All I did was give Bunston the power of fire. The rest was all his own doing. The prince tells me you are the one of the great. <clears throat> the prince tells me you are of great help to him. It is I who owe you thanks. Yeah, I know I screwed out that line. Don't don't blame me. I mean, uh, don't yell at me. <laughs> Mono, is everyone okay? What happened? What was Ms. Mash to the Bonera? I'm afraid to say that almost all of them have been captured. You you mean we're too late? 
No, there's still time. The Mash Truth is strong with the power he took from your people. It is only the very power of the Banarians that is keeping everyone alive right now. Moto, what is what's the safest way to get the castle from here? Actually, I've been working on something new that might just do the trick. My son is working on the Cosmic Express as we speak. Come on, I'll introduce you. Alright, what else do you have to say? Uh, Starry, thank you for helping Prince Bunsen get this far. He is very lucky to have you as a friend who will help him. I must accept my destiny. If I'm to become a great prince like Starfy. Starfy is great. A great napper. <laughs> oh, don't be so sensitive. It's a joke, Starf. What's the matter? Can't take a joke from a clam. No, I'm very, very sensitive about my napping schedule. Anyway, we're inside. Well, kind of. We're inside a hangar of sorts. Oh, Globerto. Oh, no, no, no. The five. <laughs> This is exactly how I pictured a train that goes through space. They even stabilize the gravity so it's more like being at home. Sweet! I thought it was kind of fun bouncing out in space. <laughs> Alright, so let's see what is awaiting us. Uh oh. <clears throat> you super tough goat of. Wait, that's really slow. That's really slow compared to other areas. Is this low gravity? No, it's not low gravity area. Like, why, why is your attack really, really slow? I don't know. It seems a lot slower than other areas. Or maybe I'm just used to the speed, I don't know. The game's definitely not slowing down. <laughs> I just don't remember it being that slow. Anyway, I guess you can jump over... No, you know, maybe you can't jump over those guys. You just gotta bowl right through them. Uh, when, you, when you see them. But you can't really make a combo out of them or anything like that. Carrot elevator! <laughs> As you see, there's uh, closed doors. We'll be able to go through them um, on our way back. But anyway, let's save. Uh, for the heck of it. Let's just go through every door one at a time. You'll notice that they close behind you. Oh no, oh no. Well, there's a chest in here, right there. So yeah, you definitely want to go through the chest. I mean, go through the rooms to see if you can find chest length. Really super long. Wait, it's really super heavy. Engine. All right. The engine. Uh, engine. I should have thought of that before. Hmm. Well, how does this, how does this thing power? Like, what do you do to power this thing forward? And uh, uh, I guess we'll find out, huh? Um, yep, really, really slow here. Maybe, maybe the gravity isn't quite the same because these snowflake-looking things typically are a lot faster. It seems. <laughs> wow, this place is like a gold mine for pearls. Well, a pearl mine. <laughs> All right, moving on. Um. You'll notice that when you go into these set- Oh! Emulator thing's not working properly. You're normally supposed to be able to see through these walls. See that black... Um, it's supposed to be like a filter or something. Yeah. Um, well, I'm not gonna um, like be all obsessive over it because you can still play without being able to see through the walls properly. Um, yeah, <laughs> as long as it's not excessive. And I don't think it is excessive in this game, if I recall correctly. Oh, and those enemies that I've been killing are known as sticklers. Yeah, I haven't didn't really show their attack that I that's uh oh I could have showed that attack, couldn't I? Uh yeah, you. Hey you. Gone? Yeah, it's got yeah, it sorts of goes up in the air, goes back down, yeah, it sorts of like stabs at you, hence its name stickler. Bloop, bloop. And all these rooms here are ah, are pretty much just enemy kill rooms with prizes, except that, you know, some of them have uh, treasure chests in them, which means you definitely want to uh, go through them no matter what, <laughs> just to make sure that you get everything, unless, of course, you have uh, the rooms memorized and stuff like that. But as you see, there's mo no mo sniffer going on on the bottom screen here, it's just uh, all detailing going on, although the, the screens would be separated more on an actual uh, DS, but I have them closer together for the sake of the walkthrough and whatnot. Hey, minigame! Minigame, minigame, minigame! Stop! There's something spooky going on outside the windows. It's giving me the creeps. Look out the window and check them off me, okay? I'll make you worth your while. What do you say? Alright, so let's do... I should have said no just to see the dialogue. Oh, I can do that when I go back. Here we go. Let's look out the window and... Uh, hmm. Hmm. What's... Uh, hello, there is a couple of... A couple of spirits. So four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Eleven spirits. Bloop. Yeah! Yeah, it's a counting game. 
So, how many ghosts? Were you scared? <laughs> yeah, me neither. Alright, alright. Maybe I was a little scared. I've been scared of ghosts since I was a half shelf. I can't even think about it. Let's get out of here, Stark, please. Alright, let's go to the secret one later. <laughs> and it opens up. Another one dot path. Now, what happens if I say no to you? Uh, <laughs> outside the window, Starf, count the ghosts for me? No way. Gah, thought you were best bud, Starf. Can't help, can't you help me out? I, I just did. <laughs> There's 11 ghosts, did you forget already? Anyway, let's go back and clear out more of the other rooms. Yeah, I really hope that the eh, emulation thing doesn't get in the way of that. But anyway, I'll just feel around there, I suppose, for a treasure chest or something like that. I mean, it's not that hard to tell where I am, because that circle is really big anyway, you know, for the walkthrough and whatnot. And nothing there? Okay, okay. Well, most sniffer isn't going off, so you could pretty much tell. By the way, that white circle there is supposed to be a shine off the window there. Yeah, if you, if you didn't realize that. Uh, oh no, bully goat, bully goat. Dang, mm. dang shield when you're up in the air. Mm. There's a treasure chest. That I must get once I defeat you. And oh, I want all of them. I want all of them. Give me all of them. Yes. And the treasure chest, too. Space helmet. Sweet. Alright. Go. Xbox D pad. <laughs> go through the door and get hit by a stickler. No, that's not what you want. This is the last door. And now. Here is where events shall happen. Um, no filter to be had in this room, as you can tell, because there's no black circle around them. Hey, who's this guy? Ah, Bunston, hold on a sec, I'm still working on something. That's odd, if I hit the switch here, the train should start moving. Huh? What's the matter, son? Can't get it started. Hey, Dad, I just overhauled the engines. Everything seemed to be working normally. <laughs> How'd your old man take a crack at it? Wait, so this place does have engines? What? Sometimes you gotta think out of the box. Let me work on this for a bit. Unless maybe he was thinking that there's engines, but there isn't actually engines, but there's going to be an engine su or some po way to power the stream. But anyway, now you see that door is now open. And... Firepower! <laughs> and that is how this chain moves. Ah, we're moving. You did it, Dad. Never should have bought those discount parts. <laughs> oh well, they're taking off. Hold on everyone, next stop, Bunston's Castle! Woo! Open the hangar! Feel the excitement! Because we're getting close to the end of the game's main story. Is that not awesome? <laughs> and that's the end of the level. Not really, that's it. <laughs> and with that, I'm going to end off the part here. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next part.